you're a black man and you're bold. Yeah, I'm black, black, bro. No, but yeah, yes, you're black, but I'm saying- I'm black, I, black. <laughs> you're bold about being a husband. You're bold about being a father. Like you don't hide it, you celebrate it. Like, like I am happy in this relationship. I love this part of my life. So I wanna, I wanna, because there's somebody who's gonna be listening to this. Mm -hmm. And while I have a professional in the mix, let's help save somebody or save somebody's relationship or help somebody get into a positive, a healthy relationship. So I guess off the top, one of, one of my first questions to you is, why do most relationships fail? <laughs> <laughs> most relationships fail because uh, relationships are hard, man. Like it's an overwhelming number of relationships fail, but it's that's a really complicated answer. I guess this, my take on it, the most simple that I can give you, um, is because people grow and there's a stark contrast between the things that people need as they grow and the things that they think they need at the beginning of that process. Um, and I think relationships are, tip are really complicated because you're not necessarily going to grow together because you're in the same relationship. And we also have ridiculous expectations around love and dating. They don't make sense. Um, so I think when you couple all of those things together, uh, relationships are unfairly set up to fail, especially when you add in the idealism of romanticism versus the practicality that you need to get through a real, uh, not an Instagram relationship, not matching Jordans and kissing under a waterfall relationship. I'm talking about that 4 a.m. baby, we need to talk a relationship, you dead. So it's, it's, there's, it's too many universes colliding at the same time to have competing priorities. And that shit is messy. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, you know, you know something, and, and here's a real question. We don't know all dated. And, you know, I spoke about this before. Like, you can go out on a date, first date, second date with somebody, and, you know, come a month or two months in, you like, who the hell are you? Like, I, I don't even recognize you as the person I met two months ago. Come on now. You know, as a professional, as somebody who is successfully married and, and, and doing it right, should people, should you be you on the first date? Like, like, is, is that <laughs> <something> <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think I keep it too real for these questions, bro. They're not gonna like the answers. Um, th yeah, thank you, man. So I don't, I might be successfully married, but one thing that my wife and I acknowledge is the fact that next year we could easily not be married. That's and right. Keep that in mind. So please take everything I say uh, with a human, human grain of, of, of salt and love. Um, should we be honest up front? Ah, man, I hate the word should. I'll, I'll tell you this. Um, the mask comes off eventually. One way or another, the mask yes, comes it does. Off. Yes, it does. <laughs> One of the things that make relationships so difficult is we all play the game in the beginning. And in some ways, you got to play the game. If I walk up to you, be like, what's up, baby? My name K. I got a negative 43 credit score. I've been beefing with my mama for three years, and I got gingivitis like hell. You're going to run for the hill, shawty. Like, and, and it would be the same thing if the roles were reversed. So you have to play the game a little bit. I think if you give somebody everything that you are in the beginning is way too much. But I also conversely think that if you put on this bravado of, you know, how to Instagram a uh, fake uh, fake masculinity goes, I'm gonna pay all your bills and I'm gonna provide for you, shorty. And when you realize you ain't that dude, everything collapses. So like, it's, 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 it's treading a fine line between being yourself and keeping the game going long enough for you all to be slowly introduced to each other. Uh, I wouldn't recommend somebody to let it all hang out on the first date. I've been on dates with young women who like, man, I feel comfortable with you. Let me go ahead and let you know five years of information in 15 minutes. And we did not speak for long after that, you know? So there's something to be said about modesty and slow burning that process. But it's also about being honest with yourself and being real. And to expect someone to be honest and real with a person they just met, 
who's practically a stranger. Y'all gonna hate this, but I think that's a tall order given the way that humans act. And I have a lifetime of evidence to prove that I'm not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.